etchy. It's done on etchy press, and they can do this big, or they can do the size. Etchy is picking up the ink that is in the grooves that we've created. It's not printing off the surface of the plate, printing off the so you take traditionally you take a metal plate, you cover it with a lacquer, and you scratch your drawing with a stylus into the lacquer. You don't scratch it to the metal, you scratch it into the lacquer. Then you throw it in an acid bath. The acid eats away where you scratch and it burns the drawing into the plate. Take it away, you take off the lacquer with heat and the solvent, and then you've got a plate with all the lines are etched in. You roll the ink, and you rub and rub and rub because you're forcing the ink into the grooves. You're not printing off the surface, you're printing <coughs> off the cracks. Lithography, you print off the surface. Letter press, you print off the surface. Etching, you're printing off the cracks to be made into the plate. But can you imagine acid, metal, solvents? It's all changed. The world has changed. <coughs> we now do dry point etching. I'll show you some downstairs too. A piece of plastic. A piece of plastic. No sulfuric acid. No resin. But the point is scratching directly into the plate. You'll see a red brand cut for bit actually in this company. If you'll see a red brand. And you'll see he's done that chain. And then he's gone in with dry point, adding more lines. And you'll see, you'll see the energy plus dry point. Or you'll see an energy. You cannot, when you look at it, you look at it, and it's uh, that hip Rembrandt, the dry point energy. You can't believe how he did it. It's just so the talent and the skill of him just scratching over it. Dry point etching, and that's what attracted me here. We had a little press. I could do work with the acids. Oh, terrible stuff. The fumes alone can be straight etching, but I could do dry point etching. So there is. Um, passing around, you can feel it. You can feel, you can feel it's been scratched up to. It's just a piece of plastic dry point etching. And what are your results? I was working on Santa Claus for really, from a friend's beat. Oh, yeah. So I've got Fred Meat's truck, you see here, <laughs> chugging along. So this is a one color dry point etching on plastic. This is a sheet of plastic. And there it is. And that's the sensor up on top. I've got some of the hand color too. I've colored it quite well. You can do multiple colored etchings. You can do hand colored and more packs of it. This is some probes taken on this press, on this sweet little press. It's a dry point etching.
you see a castle, it's a number 10 of 300. He asked people. <laughs>